Kabuhay! Welcome to another edition of Shot and Learn. Sa video ng ito, pag-usapan natin ang past tense o ang tinatawag na pretérito indefinido sa Espanyol. Ang past tense sa Ingles ay may dalawang uri sa Espanyol. Ang pretérito indefinido at ang pretérito imperfecto. Sa video ng ito, pag-usapan muna natin kung ano ang pretérito indefinido. Mahalagang malaman natin kung saan ginagamit ang pretérito indefinido at ang pretérito imperfecto dahil hindi natin sila pwedeng pagpalitin pagdating sa paggamit nito sa Espanyol dahil magiging iba ang meaning ng sentence. Ngayon, tignan natin kung ano ang kahulugan ng pretérito indefinido. So, ¿qué es pretérito indefinido? I-define muna natin ang pretérito indefinido at saka tayo gumawa ng iba't ibang uri ng sentence or sentences base sa kahulugan ng pretérito indefinido or kung saan siya pwedeng gamitin. Now, first, is used for actions that can be viewed as a single event. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung mga action na kapag nangyari na, tapos na agad. So, yun, nangyari na yun. Next is used for action that were repeated a specific number of times. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung mga past actions na paulit-ulit na nangyari specifically. The third one is used for actions that occurred during a specific period of time. Meaning, ito yung mga actions na nangyari na mayroong specific na araw, oras, or panahon. At ang ikaapat ay is used for actions that were part of a chain of events. So, ibig sabihin, bago nangyari ang kabuoang action from the past, may mga pangyayari na magkakarugtong doon sa isang buong pangyayari from the past. At ang susunod ay used to state the beginning or the end of an action. So, ibig sabihin, yung action from the past, alam natin kung kailan nangyari o nagsimula at natapos. Ngayon, mahalagang malaman natin kung paano kinukonjugate ang mga verb na ginagamit pagdating sa pretérito indefinido. Dahil magkaiba sila ng conjugation ng pretérito imperfecto. At gayon din, importante na alam din natin kung paano mag-conjugate ng verb at kung hindi nyo pa alam, pwede nyo balikan yung regular verb conjugation sa presente sa aking video na ginawa. At lagi nating tatandaan, bawat tense sa Espanyol ay may kakibat na conjugations. So, ito yung mga endings na kailangan nating tandaan sa pagkakonjugate ng verb sa pretérito indefinido. For AR verbs, we have yo, e, tu, aste, usted, el, ella, o, nosotros, amos, vosotros, asteis, ustedes, ellos, and ellas, aron. For ER and IR verbs, they have the same conjugation or endings. For yo, e, Tú, este, usted, él, ella, yo, nosotros, imos, vosotros, esteis, ustedes, ellos, and ellas, hierro. Ngayon, tignan natin kung paano kinoconjugate ang regular verbs. So, sa verb na hablar, comer, at vivir, meron tayong conjugation dito ng regular verb conjugation. For hablar, yo, hable, tú, hablaste, usted, él, ella, hablo. Nosotros hablamos, nosotros hablasteis, ustedes, ellos and ellas hablaron. Por comer, yo comí, tú comiste, usted, él, ella comió, nosotros comimos, vosotros comisteis, ustedes, ellos and ellas comieron. And for vivir, we have yo viví, tú viviste, usted, él, ella vivió. Nosotros vivimos, vosotros vivisteis, ustedes, ellos, and ellas, viero. Ngayon naman, pag-aralan natin base sa definition na binigay kanina. So, for example, 
She walked through the park. Ella camino por el parque. They arrived at 8. Ellos llegaron a las 8. Alexa sang last night. Alexa cantó anoche. I ordered a salad. Translation, pedí una ensalada. Next definition, used for actions that are repeated a specific number of times. Meaning, yung action from the past na paulit-ulit na nangyari with a specific number of times. For example, I sent an email to my boss three times. Translation, envié un correo electrónico a mi jefe tres veces. Next example, yesterday I wrote four letters. Translation, ayer escribe cuatro cartas. Next, she rode a taxi two times last week. Translation, ella montó un taxi dos veces la semana pasada. Next, I ate an ice cream ten times last year. Comí un helado diez veces el año pasado. Next definition of preterito indefinido, used for actions that occur during a specific period of time. Meaning to say, yung action nangyari specifically sa isang period of time. For example, the students watched the movies the whole day. Translation, los estudiantes vieron las películas por un día. Another example, I visited my friend last summer. Translation, visité a mi amiga el verano pasado. Alex called last night for four hours. Translation, Alex llamó anoche por cuatro horas. Next, you all informal ran in Loneta for five hours. Translation, Ustedes corrieron en Luneta por 5 horas. We had an exam last Saturday. Tuvimos un examen el sábado pasado. Next definition, used for actions that were part of a chain of events. Meaning to say, from the past actions, there are a series of actions that happen. For example, Yesterday afternoon, I cooked, I ate, and I brushed my teeth. Translation Ayer por la tarde, cociné, comí, y me cepillé los dientes. I read and wrote a novel before sleeping. Leí y escribí una novela antes de dormirme. You informal entered drank a glass of water, and ate a hamburger. Translate. Entraste, bebiste un vaso de agua, y comiste una hamburguesa. Next translation, used to state the beginning or the end of an action. For example, we finished the homework yesterday. Nosotros terminamos la tarea ayer. Stephen Curry dribbled and shot the ball in the last tournament. Translation, Stephen Curry dribbló y tiró la bola en el concurso pasado. The rain started at 10 a.m. Translation, la lluvia empezó a las 10 de la mañana. Last, the class ended at 4 p.m. La clase terminó a las 4 de la tarde. Now, of course, if there are regular verbs, there are also irregular verbs. So, in pretérito indefinido, we have ser, ir, dar, and hacer. For ser, we have fui, fuiste, fue, fuimos, fuisteis, fueron. For ir, we have fui, fuiste, fue, fuimos, fuisteis, fueron. Hmm? So, do you think this is incorrect? No. So, this is correct. So, ser and ir have the same conjugation in pretérito indefinido. 
Now, another set of irregular conjugation in preterito indefinito are these verbs. So, notice the endings which are e, iste, o, imos, istes, ieron are the endings that we are going to use for the following verbs. So, from andar, it will be anduv, estar, estuv, tener, tuv, querer, kiss, caber, cup, saber, sup, venir, vin, haber, ub, poner, pus, poder, pud, and hacer, i. Now, to conjugate or use these endings, this will be used as follows. Yo anduve, tu anduviste, usted, el, ella, anduvo, nosotros, anduvimos, vosotros, anduvisteis, ustedes, ellos, and ellas, anduvieron. This means that these are the 11 verbs that have a different or change in their raiz or the root word and we will be using another set of endings which are the given above. Now let's try to conjugate another verb like for example the verb estar which will be estuv as raiz. So we have yo estuve, tu estuviste, usted, el, ella estuvo, Nosotros estuvimos, vosotros estuvisteis, ustedes, ellos y ellas estuvieron. And for haber, which is the auxiliary verb, we have yo, ube, tu, ubiste, usted, él, ella, hubo, nosotros, ubimos, vosotros, ubisteis, ustedes, ellos y ellas, hubieron. Also, as a reminder, haber is an auxiliary verb. Now, take note of these time markers that can help you identify when or where to use the terito indefinido. Ayer sa Tagalog kahapon. Anteayer nung makalawa. Anoche kagabi. Desde el primer momento, simula nung una pangyayari, durante dos siglos, sa looban ng dalawang siglo, otro dia, nung isang araw in ese momento nung mga pangyayaring iyon Next we have entonces then la semana pasada last week el mes pasado last month el año pasado last year hace dos días or hace dos años two days or two years ago ayer por la mañana yesterday morning ayer por la tarde yesterday afternoon Okay, so sana nakatulong ang video ito sa pag-aaral ninyo ng past tense sa Espanyol. At alam kong hindi ganun kadali, pero kung papraktisin natin ito araw-araw, mas magiging madali para sa ating intindihan. And always remember, you will not achieve anything if you don't give it a shot. Maraming salamat. Huwag niyo kalimutan mag-subscribe dito sa channel na ito. Adiós. Salud.